Hello and welcome back to f Oh wait, <laughs> wrong video. Um, today we are going to be taking our first look at Mr. Mannequin Tools 1.4, which is the highly anticipated, um, most eagerly awaited release uh, of, of any medium of the, the century. So basically, if you haven't used Mr. Mannequin 1.3, Basically what it is, it's just a super easy workflow to animate for Unreal in Blender. So if I was just to start from a, a blank, all we do once the plugin's installed is Shift A, as usual, Mr. Mannequin templates, and bam, we have a fully rigged, ready to go Unreal Engine skeleton. Um, I'm using the Mannequin Female just because it looks a bit more cleaner than the uh, Unreal mannequin uh, and it also doesn't have the big buffy shoulders much more representative of you know a, a humanoid <laughs> so your first impression is probably what the fuck are all these shapes you know floating around this looks so complex but you can relax because a lot of these are useless or at least you won't be interacting with them very often so if we Click on our rig, we go to the object data properties and we can go to all these layers. And basically all we're gonna need is the IK bones and the root bones. Cool, this is probably a bit different to, you know, if you've ever seen animation being done before. And the reason this is different is because all of these are IK targets. So if you've worked in games or animation or 3D for any amount of time, you probably know what inverse kinematics are. Yeah, let's go through all the controls. So we've obviously got a, a head look at target here, which also, you know, does some spinal adjustments, shoulder adjustments, keeps it super natural. You know, you can pull the head forward and back, um, which is <laughs> really cool. Uh, you can make the head look up, down, side to side. And I'm guessing with this FK, we can, yeah, we can tilt the head like this if we needed to. Um, so, whoop, 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 whoop. anyway, sorry. So head look at target, super, super cool. Obviously we've got our, you know, standard foot IK, our, our knee look at targets. Uh, we've got our wrist IK or hand IK, I guess. Hand IK ordination. <laughs> and, you know, yep, standard, it all rotates good. I'm really glad that these finger bones are a lot easier to select. So if we're, if our orientation is set to local rather than global, uh, which I suggest for, you know, doing any rotation in animation, then, you know, we can just super easily close a fist using these these red bones here and now we have a open palm and you know we can because we're not limited by uh flexibility we can do some creepy stuff uh, i'm pretty sure these will deform sideways as well if you needed it to yeah 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 cool so that's that'll be really handy for you know having fingers trail behind a bit obviously you want to add a bit of trailing to your animations just to make them look a bit smoother so if our hand was moving this way super fast, we could sort of make our fingers sort of move to the side a little bit to make it look like it's moving super fast and that, you know, all of the uh, the limbs have weight and stuff like that. Now, the piece della resistance is the spine IK slash solver slash spine spline which functions as a pelvis IK target, sort of. So, you know, you can get some some sweet movement in those hips. Uh, now, this is just going to be super, super handy just for literally everything because before you'd need to move this and it moved, you know, the entire spine at once, um, FK style. But now we can just move the pelvis. Now we can just move, you know, the top of the spine. Yeah, obviously you can change position of the spine, position of the pelvis, uh, the actual sort of bend of the spine. This is amazing. This is like game changing. Ah, oh, it's so nice. That's incredible. Uh, and then obviously we've got our root. Uh, so for root motion, this is your root bone and you know, you'll want to move this if you're doing like a walking animation with root motion or like, you know, any sort of attack animation where they take a step, you'll need to move this. 
you know, obviously you want to keep a foot there and then you can put this one down and, you know, then your next sort of movement will be here to here where you can keep this foot there and move this one over. And obviously, you know, you'll move your <laughs> you'll move your uh, your knee targets along with it and stuff like that. So if you've been meaning to get into animating, if you're a solo dev or an indie dev and, you know, you need some custom animations and you don't want to pay someone, you know, a reasonable amount of money, then doing animations yourself is actually not as hard as you'd think it is. It's it's very easy to get started, especially with tools like this. And I will actually be doing a series where we look at, you know, animation for beginners, especially using this plugin, and more specifically implementing animations using the animation blueprint in Unreal Engine, because that's something I know that I have a, a little bit of a, a reputation as like a material shader nerd, but um, when it comes to implementing animations and stuff, I'm like, I'm all about that as well. It's another one of my, my special interests. Like I, I did all of the animations keyframed for Prismatica so far, like all of the prototype animations. The thing that I really, really enjoy is implementing all the animations, you know, doing multiple layers and like additive animations, you know, separate animation for upper body, lower body and that kind of thing. And just adding all these little extra animation layers, like a heavy breathing animation that gets more intense the lower your stamina gets and you know that can play over every single animation that's going on you know regardless of if you're attacking or running or idle it'll still play that animation over the top of that that's like things that i really a froth at the mouth over so if, if you do want to learn more about unreal engine animation blueprint and implementation and animation itself then stick around because i'll be doing an entire series on that in conjunction with five minute materials and obviously my devlogs now the other thing that I'm really excited about is I now have a Rococo motion capture suit. So basically, uh, I'm gonna show a little bit of test footage here. Uh, show the footage. But basically, it's just a, it's a motion capture suit, uses all accelerometers. Uh, I got it half price, second hand. It's like two sizes too big on me, but you know, who cares? Uh, I look like an idiot using it, but it works extremely well. It's so much fun to use. And basically what I'll be doing is using it as a basis for my animations. Then I'll be importing them into Blender and using Mr. Mannequin to touch it up. Uh, Cause obviously motion capture, it's never gonna be perfect. Uh, and then I'll be sort of, I guess, stylizing it in Blender using Mr. Mannequin. But either way, this plugin is going to be a vital tool in my animation pipeline. Um, and I think it should be a tool in your animation pipeline as well, because it is... Oh, I'm just like, I'm so pumped. I'm just so pumped about this plugin. I've been waiting for this for months now. So basically that wraps up our first look at Mr. Mannequin 1.4 plugin for Blender by Jim Kruvy. If you do end up using this plugin, uh, make sure that you check out his channel. It's full of just epic very comprehensive stuff about the plugin and also don't forget to chuck him a donation because obviously this is a free plugin I, I forgot to mention that actually i'm gonna have to put that at the start of the video this is a free plugin you don't have to pay anything for it but honestly this is worth like <laughs> hundreds of dollars so make sure that you chuck a donation jim's way uh, i think you can buy this for any price that you want on Gumroad or you can subscribe to his Patreon. Basically, that sums it up. That's the video. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to some animation-based videos and tutorials. And with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>